Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, today I'm just going to show you um, how to install VST plugins and if you've installed some VST effects or instruments and they're not showing up in Cubase, uh, this is how you could probably rectify that problem. So the main thing to be aware of is where your VST or your DLL folder is. So the most important way for me is if you go to my computer click on your C drive. I'm using 64-bit Windows uh, but if you're using 32-bit then you need to go into the C program files 86 but I'll go through both. So C program files go down to Steinberg your version of Cubase, I'm on Cubase 8 and then your VST plugins folder. So if you copy your DLL files into here you really shouldn't have any issues at all and every time Cubase opens it will check this folder and therefore your VSTs will work. So same again if we go to 32-bit C program files 86 oh, and kick, scroll down click on Steinberg Cubase 8 and VST plugins. Like I said if you install into here you shouldn't have any issues at all but as you probably saw there when I go into C program files 86 sometimes it creates a VST plugins folder when you're installing um, here in the program files sometimes Cubase won't um, pick this uh, VST or DLL up so if you just for instance double click into here and this is where your DLL files may be basically what you need to do is copy them and go back into program files into Steinberg your version of Cubase and VST plugins paste them into here and like I said every time you boot Cubase up it will find them. Now you can see here if I go back there's obviously another VST plugins folder here as well like I said you can just copy uh, copy all of those into Cubase 8 and VST plugins so they're all in one location. So when you open up Cubase now I know in Cubase 8 obviously it's a little bit easier now because you've got the plugin manager and you can see here these are all the locations that Cubase every time it, it boots up it looks in these folders for my VST plugins so and what you can do is add new locations so in this instance let's go to C uh, program files Steinberg Cubase 8 VST plugins click OK and there you go it will add that path man's already got it it's down here look so like I said you just need to be aware of where your DLLs are getting installed so let's say you've installed a VST instrument and it's gone into program files and let's say brainworks let's say it's installed your DLL file here now this is is common uh, if you don't choose your VST plugins folder when you're installing something it will install it into the um, usually the products uh, folder so your DLL will be hidden here from Brainworks so what I would do would be to right click and copy then I go back into program files down to Steinberg into Cubase 8 VST plugins and paste once it's pasted in here like I've said every time you open up Cubase it'll check this folder and then your new VST will appear so the main thing is uh, is just to check when you're installing take it slow because usually it gives you the option to find the VST plugins folder um, if it does then you can you can do it on the install if not uh, just let it install into its standard location which might be C program files Korg or Brainworks or Waves whoever uh, then go into that folder, copy the DLLs back into your Cubase folder and your VST plugins and that's it. So again, you know, I haven't actually gone through installing anything but hopefully you've found um, a little bit of information that's, that's made it relevant for you to be able to um, solve some of your issues that you're having installing VSTs. So again, what you, you know, one good thing to look at here is you can see basically every time when Cubase opens up these are the locations it's looking for so if your DLL isn't in any of these locations it won't appear so that's why you're probably going you know I've just installed something and I can't see it so make sure you just copy your DLLs into the right location 
I know I'm obviously going over it a little bit, but it's uh, it makes sense. Once you've done it once or twice, to be honest, if uh, you've just installed something, it doesn't show up. This this method will definitely uh, get you to the bottom of it and resolve it within a short period of time. The main thing is Cubase needs to see this DLL. If it can't find it and it doesn't know where to look, then your plugin won't work. It is that simple. So hope this has helped. Um, don't forget, if you do have any questions or you want to get in touch regarding this issue or any others, then you know please do. And until next time, bye-bye.